Hello, it's Peripheral Games here, and um, it's been two weeks since my last engine video, and it's been two weeks this video has been in the making. But I've made this video in Blender, um, and it's been taking two weeks to render using cycles, but I'm quite proud to show it off now. It's my animation and visualization of the basics of a game engine. So, what do we have here? Uh, here we have an overhead view, and I'm just going to show you some of the basic parts. On the far left there, you see that big circle. That's the main game loop. It's sort of the heart of the game, and it loops round and round and round and round in a indefinite circle, um, pumping power to pumping signals to the rest of the engine to make everything work. As you can see, there's two lines that branch off from the main game loop, and they um, send off signals to to run the engine. Basically, as I said, um, and each circle of the uh, of the main game loop is considered a frame. And in each frame, lots of things happen, but generally, what what the what the main game loop pumps out every um, every beat is generally the same. Um, only the, the the information changes and the conditions change, but generally, it's quite a repetitive task. And this part of um, a, a game engine is I call it the heart, um, but it's basically the part that's always running and the part that keeps the engine going. As um, as the game runs, the um, the one, two, three, four squares on the right of the screen are the engine subsystems. They are what carry out all the systems. But I'll get into those in a minute. So let's just get this animation running. Um, first, we jump down here to the engine initialization, and this is uh, where all of the stuff is done at the start of the game to get everything up and running. What this does is sort of make a game window, um, set up the graphics card to do all the work. Um, sets up the events to get input from uh, fingers and keyboards whatever and then when that's done it starts up the main game loop so let's just get that going and into the main game loop um, it starts off in the loop and sends off a signal generally to the update um, the update function which is here and the update function basically sends off it updates every single entity in a game and an entity game is an object so you're talking about anything from a character to a tree or um, all sorts of things. Very often in games there are entities that you can't even see. Entities that are playing sounds, managing the data, all sorts of things. But So the update function loops through all of the entities and sends off a signal to each one. And when we get to an entity, we ha as you can see the entity has two blocks. One is the update block and one is the render block. The update block updates the entity, as in its movement, um, its information, all those things like that get updated. And obviously, if the entity wants to do anything, it sends off a signal to the respective subsystem of the engine, like is going on here. It's sending off a signal to the AI system to, um, to update the artificial intelligence of this entity. When it's finished, it jumps back to the update function, and send the update function sends off an update call to the next entity, like so. And obviously, whatever the entity updates needs to be done, it sends off a signal to the respective subsystem, in this case, the animation system. And then, again, we jump back and we go to the third entity. Now, just so you know, these three entities just are respective of a very simple game engine. Games like um, Modern Warfare and Mass Effect, all of them, can have hundreds of thousands of entities in a scene, and the update function has to update every single one of them. So obviously this entity uh, is needing help from the audio system, so it sends a signal to the audio system to play a sound, or um, process a sound, or whatever it needs to do. Then we jump back to the main game loop, because the update function is finished. The loop continues and it sends a signal into the render um, the render function. And the render function very important and it has a lot of work to do. That's why it's separate from the update function. Also generally you want to separate uh, rendering from updating so that you can update uh, the position of objects before you render it. Because if you rendered an object and then updated the position it wouldn't move. So obviously you update it and then you render it. So the render function does the same thing. It loops through all of the entities like so, this one's going to entity number one, and when it gets there, it goes into the render block of the entity, and that obviously sends off a signal to the graphics renderer over here, 
which renders the object onto your screen. And again, this um, process is is um, continued over all three entities, or in the case of some very complicated hundreds of thousands of entities. And then we jump back to the main game loop, and the loop continues and starts again. And that's it, basically. The, con the, the main loop continues and continues and continues this process until you kill it, or break the loop, or cause something to, um, to stop the loop. Generally, in my game engine, I have a value uh, called running, uh, which is a true or false value in the main game loop. And the main game loop is instructed only to um, pulse that frame if the running um, variable says it can. It, so if you set the running variable to false, the main game loop will stop and the engine will come crashing down. Obviously, there is code in the engine to um, to when when the when the main loop stops, it has a list of, of things to do, uh, things to delete, um, to close down the engine when um, the job is finished. But this is a basic overview of how game engine works, and um, obviously some game engines vary. Unity uses a component-based system, which you want. I will make another video explaining how a component-based system works. Um, so leave a comment and tell me if you enjoyed this video and you learned anything about it, because that really makes me very happy. And if you want to learn different systems, different types of engines, I will gladly make the videos. But this is a very simple look at a very simple engine and basics of how game engines work. Bye for now.